So I just wanted to let you know that this is one of my favorite shows and Ooh. you're one of my favorite performers. So it just feels like a natural fit that you're on this show. Um, what also interests me is that you've got such an, ex um, an extensive and interesting background as sociologist, dancer, how much of that informs you for this, for this series? Um, yeah, thanks for saying that. You know, I was, I think Steven Soderbergh is like one of the most sociological directors ever. So I was interested in his work to begin with. And um, a lot of my dance background mostly just gave me like the discipline to research and be really persistent with you know, preparation for acting. And I think those are two things that I got to really explore in this show. Um, I play Iris, who is a neuroscientist and she has sort of a, I'm sorry, um, a calculated um, approach to all the facets of her life. And so she starts working at a tech startup in London. She leaves Harvard and the world of academia, which I know well to, um, work at a mysterious tech startup in London and she ends up becoming a girlfriend in the transactional world with a girlfriend experience and she uses um, both of her jobs to sort of feed each other and she collects data in both of them to sort of, you know, create something that she thinks will change the world. And so the research process for that was really exciting for me and um, I was just so lucky that I was able to like have the discipline to sit down and like really learn about everything. And I think that that's from dance and school. When you're acting in, in such a way, when you're playing Iris cast, do you feel like you're a character playing another character? Do you feel like you're playing two different characters? Do you feel like they um, extend or sort of mesh a little bit? I think that Iris does something that we all do universally, she just does it to a larger extent, which is that we present different personas depending who we're talking to. And we maybe dress a little bit differently, we walk a little bit differently, and she does it all with such rigor because it's her job and also because she just goes above and beyond in every aspect of her life. So um, she thinks that the more she can give people what they want, the more accurate data she can collect to translate. So I think that her motivation is the same overall. So it just kind of felt like one character with different personas. You know, you, your career, you've been in some really interesting projects. You know, when I, when I first got the Disney Plus, the star add-on, I went straight to Bunheads to see you <laughs> in that. How do you feel like your career has transformed in that way? Do you feel like you're asking different things of your audience? Do you feel you're more audience facing? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know Buttheads was on Disney Plus. That's nice. Um, you know, I am just so excited to have fun at work, to be honest. Like, it's really simple. Right before I shot The Girlfriend Experience, I was on the Muppets, the new, um, the new Muppets that like helps kids learn how to code. Um, and it's like for really little kids. And I just thought that was amazing. And I just think that it really, I just want to learn a bunch about different genres and work with different directors. And so I'm not really thinking about the audience really. I am thinking about what a project is saying to the world, because I think we all have like a you know, responsibility to like contribute something, but I, I am more trying to learn and have fun. Yeah. And I think it's so, it, it's such an incredible series for stars as well too, with what they've been doing and how they have shows that, you know, as we were saying, that really challenge their audience and really allow that freedom. You know, did, did you feel that? Did you feel like you were given the freedom to, you know, that the show can breathe a little bit? Yeah, you know, I, I there's a new um, president at STARS and I spoke to her the other day and I just love everything that she's doing and she's, you know, there are so many great projects coming to STARS as well. So I think it's really like an evolving network and it's really sort of reflecting in many ways the world that we live in today. Um, so I'm a big fan. I bought the channel. Yeah. How does it feel for you too that you know you've been such an integral part of every project but in this one in particular 
like it's you you know you're front and center you're the lead of the show you you have so many different um versions maybe characters how does that feel for you how does that feel in terms of that process well it was really cool to be in every scene because i got to see under a magnifying glass what everybody does on such a moment to moment level and it gave me a whole new respect for the craft of filmmaking and what a team effort it is because previously like on the affair when I'm only in a couple scenes an episode you know I just go back to the trailer and I'm just like in my little bubble but here I really felt like I was part of um, a team and uh, it just made me want to learn as much as I could about being behind the camera the lighting just all different aspects. As I said, this is a show that's been, I really, really enjoy it in this season in particular, your season has been fantastic. What kind of shows have you engaged with in such a way? What, what kind of shows make you feel like you're really sort of engaged or in them? You know, obviously I like everyone else love Killing Eve. Mm -hmm. um, I love the sardonic sort of charming sociopath. I thought that, you know, she's so great. Um, I also love Lisa Kudrow and The Comeback. That's like probably my favorite show. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. It's like cringe mockumentary. Mm -hmm. um, I love all the Christopher Guest movies. Um, I, you know, I, I'll really watch anything. Uh, I just engaged, a friend told me to watch Industry on HBO mm -hmm. and, or HBO Max, and I, I, thought that that had some parallels to the girlfriend experience especially this season because you know I was worried like oh are people gonna understand all this tech like I had to learn so much stuff there's so much jargon but really it's a show about the relationships and it's a show about a character's determination her greed maybe her lust for power it's really about her end game and I think that that's universal because we're all ambitious we're all um trying to make the most out of our relationships. And so just like industry, I think you don't really have to understand every single tiny little thing they're saying. You're just invested because it's an interesting world. Mm. I wanna give a shout out to your movie, um, Most Likely to Murder, uh, The Wind as well, which was at TIFF, a fantastic film. And into this project to, to the future, what are some of the things that you get to do a lot on the show? What are some of the things that maybe you haven't had a chance to do yet on screen that you'd like to? You know, I thought most likely to murder was cool because that was a comedy and there were so many really, really funny people on it. And um, so I, I, um, I would love to do comedy. I'm sort of interested in all of it. The Wind was cool because I've never seen a feminist Western in that way. Um, so I'm just completely open. So lastly, I want to ask you about this project in particular, because it is so much up to the audience to sort of decide, you know, what is real, what is truthful? Can we, can we even find an interior route to truth? I don't know if you want to inform the audience in a way, but do you feel like maybe in your performance you do, do you, do you want there to be hints perhaps? Do you, do you want, uh, you know, what kind, what kind of guide would you give to an audience that's coming to the show for the first time? I think the guide is to, hmm. I don't know. I think that this is a show that doesn't dumb anything down. There's not a lot of exposition. There's a lot that is left to the imagination and, um, it allows you to make assumptions and then it sort of, you know, tricks you and takes you on twists and turns. So I think everyone's gonna watch it differently, like I said, and I don't know that there's really a hint of anything other than what Iris or any given character is presenting at that given time. So I think like the audience is almost like a client for Iris, you know, she's showing you what you want to see. And I think that that ultimately, um, it, she's not a reliable narrator. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it, the show says a lot about technology and certainly it, it's a lot of fun to do these sort of Zoom interviews having watched a show like this. And uh, yeah. I think you're really a tremendously talented performer. 
And I can't wait for everyone to see the show, to really engage with it. And I've really enjoyed engaging with you. Thank you, you, Charles. Thank you for saying that.